Hey folks, it's Kobe with KobeRot.com, and I'd like to welcome you back to another weekly live training session. So before we start, I just want to make sure that everyone can hear me, that you can see the screen okay, etc., etc. If you can hear me, put a, a Y on the box. If not, obviously you won't put anything, and I'll know that you can't hear me. So, all right, got some yeses and some whys. Awesome. So. Get that out of the way. I don't have the screen paused. Everything's ready to roll. All right. Cool. So tonight we're going to talk about recruiting affiliates, and then we're going to take some questions from you folks in the audience. First, I just need to point out uh, the text down here at the bottom of the screen, and that is for our, to join the SMS list to get instant notification of all the training sessions and of course uh, when the replays are posted and the replays are mobile friendly so you can watch them on your mobile device simply text the word webinar which is w-e-b-i-n-a-r to the phone number here on the screen which is 615-326-1155 all right with that out of the way Let's jump right into it because this is something that I've been getting asked quite a bit lately, and that is how to go about recruiting affiliates. Now, for those of you that don't know what an affiliate is, I'm going to say most of you do, but just in case, uh, an affiliate is someone that promotes your product for a percentage of the sale. For example, let's say that you create a product that's a video course that you sell for $10 and you decide to offer affiliates 50% commission. And so anyone that promotes that product and makes a sale by promoting that product you know, to their list or to their Facebook fans or however they promote it on their blog, then they get $5 and you get $5. So it's a win-win situation. It's a win-win for you because you get an extra buyer on your list, you make a sale, and you make some money that you wouldn't have got otherwise. It's a win for the affiliate because they make a sale of a product that they didn't have to create, they don't have to do any support, anything that is in the traffic. So it works for you know, uh, the affiliate, they only have to send traffic, it works for the product creator because they only had to create the product and then provide support. <clears throat> so uh, there's several types of affiliates and part of the ones that you're most familiar with uh, is you know those that you know like being a ClickBank affiliate or being an affiliate for Warrior Plus promoting WSOs or maybe a network like DigiResults or JB Zoo. And and but you can also be an affiliate for you know Amazon and other physical top stores through other places like Commission Junction, et cetera, et cetera. So you can pretty much be an affiliate for just about anything there is that people can buy. And you can even be an affiliate of some things that people don't buy. You know, you can uh, you can do some CPA marketing where uh, CPA is short for cost per action, so they're getting you're getting paid for you know like lead, but they opt in to a list or they put in their zip code, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if any of those of your business model, if you're trying to attract affiliates, um, you know obviously one of the best ways to do that is to list your product on a big affiliate network, such as the ones that we just mentioned, ClickBank. Digi results, JVZoo, uh, Warrior Plus, which is also called WSO Pro, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you had a physical product and you own a, uh, well, you don't have to have, you don't actually have to own a brick and mortar store. Let's say you have a physical product, you have a book or a CD, then you would look at places like, you know, Amazon. And create, and and they would actually do the rec kind of the affiliate recruiting for you, I guess. They're kind of a, a hybrid e-commerce affiliate network. And then also, you know, you could you could do something like Creative Space, Kindle, et cetera, et cetera. So obviously, let's obviously though, you're going to have to have it listed somewhere on a network, and you can even have your own private network. But it's very hard to get it to, you know, harder to get uh, affiliates for because there's no one advertising for you if you're using one of these bigger or one of these affiliate networks, you're at least getting listed in the marketplaces and you're going to uh, just naturally 
pick up affiliates by, by that way and you're going to get more exposure. So the, the key to, to getting affiliates, I can't even say top I'm trying to say, <laughs> the key to getting affiliates is exposure is what I'm, uh, I'm getting to. And so I'm just going to assume that you already know that you're going to have to list it on some type of a network. Uh, my favorite network right now that I'm using a lot, some of you may have noticed, is DigiResults. And you can uh, sign up for free at DigiResults by going to gokobe.com forward slash digi. And the reason I like DigiResults is because they have a lot of cool stuff going for them. You can pay your affiliates instantly via PayPal, or you can choose to delay the payments, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of different things you can do. They have a lot of autoresponders that they integrate with. Uh, so that people can be added to your list, both your affiliates and your uh, buyers can be added to your list instantly. They got, uh, also have a, what they call their gold label program where you get paid for whenever the, obviously whenever someone buys a product of these networks, they're added to that network's uh, buyers list or their users list. You know, we've all heard of the WSO of the day list, the JVZoo product of the day list, etc. But with DigiResults, whenever they send out those emails for their promotions or whatever they're having for their network, you get a, a percentage of that. So if, if I if I promote a product, or I'm sorry, if I uh, put up a product on DigiResults and I make a thousand sales, now there's a thousand people that are getting emails that if they happen to buy one of these products of the day or whatever, that one of these gold label products and DigiResults, I get a percentage of that. So I get a percentage of a commission, which is really cool. So that's one of the things that I like about them. And and, and is also Andy Fletcher, the the owner, is he's a really nice, cool guy. I'm in a mastermind with him. And he's he's really helpful, and he knows the stuff. So, I'm gonna check and see out the uh, look at the questions real quick. Yeah, uh, Art's absolutely right, um, and I get emails from them all the time. Uh, a lot of people, he said, Art said that a lot of people don't even realize that Google even has an affiliate network where some major companies are listed. And he is absolutely right because uh, I get their emails all the time. I get the emails from the Google. Advertisers network all the time, even though I haven't promoted any of them in years. <laughs> I'm still on their list and I haven't subscribed, I guess. Uh, yeah, and, and Vic, Vic mentioned, I'm glad Vic m m mentioned that because um, this product pay is a brand new one, which is uh, product pay is owned by James Sods and Bobby Walker. Who also own uh, formspecialoffers.com. I haven't promoted or I haven't listed any of my own products on Product Pay yet, but I have promoted them as an affiliate. Some products on there, and I was really happy with them as an affiliate. So, and of course, James and Bobby are. are well, I don't really know Bobby, but I know of him. And everything that I've heard about him is, is good. I know James personally, and he, he's an awesome guy. So uh, thanks for mentioning that, Vic, because I definitely want to give them uh, their credit. Product Pay is definitely one that's up and coming. They're putting a lot of work in that. The only reason I haven't used them yet, the main reason I haven't used them, to be perfectly honest, is because my new software that I'm using, Fusion HQ, doesn't integrate with them. Uh, but it integrates with DigiResults. So that's, why I've been, that's another reason I've been using DigiResults. And so Product Pay will eventually uh, integrate with them, and then I'll use them. Or I may just do one anyways, because I've got some uh, FSO, some formal special offers that I've got planned to do. I just haven't got around to doing them yet. Uh, that's, I've just got a good question, but I don't want to answer it just yet. Uh, Sam has a great question. I'm going to wait to answer that one, so don't let me forget, because uh, if I get on that, I'll get off track. <laughs> uh, but uh, Okay, so back to recruiting affiliates. Or pretend that you have them. Uh, you've got it listed. Let's just go through some of the things. You've got your product listed, obviously. You've got it listed at a network. And you're going to need you're going to need a JV page as well. And you're going to want an opt-in form on that. And let me show you an example of some of my JV pages. Uh, it's not going to be the best, 
but I'm just going to show you what it looks like. This is an older one, Guru Hijack. So you can see here's my uh, affiliate page, the video. Uh, videos are kind of, <laughs> affiliate videos are always different because you're trying to to gather their attention. And uh, so anytime you see me on an affiliate video, I'm probably going to be acting kind of goofy or doing stuff that may seem out of character. And it is, but it's just simply to kind of uh, get the attention of some affiliates and just, uh, you know, I've been on affiliate videos where I was throwing money uh, in the air and, you know, silly things like that. And it's just to get attention of the affiliates. I've had some where I danced and they <laughs> played rap music, you know, just, <laughs> it's just trying to get their attention. It's, it's, um, so sometimes you got to step outside your comfort zone and, uh, but you can see here, it's pretty simple page. It's just set up just like a, a, a squeeze page. You know, in fact, this is my squeeze page template. And uh, just pretty straightforward. How to earn easy commissions with low refunds with our high quality products. Our affiliates are the most important people. You know, you can watch that video here. I'm not even sure what this video, what I say on this. I'm not sure how crazy I get. I don't, I don't I get too crazy on that one. But, uh, you know, I got over here an email. And it just says they sign up. I'll send them a review copy. Or, and I... I guess I should remove that because I don't, um, on my new ones, I don't necessarily put that because I don't always send them a review copy. It depends uh, because some people will will just go on your uh, affiliate list to get review copies. So I don't really do that as much as anymore. But those that want, because those that want a review, will they'll uh, they'll let you know and I'll usually just send them. But in the beginning, I used to give away a lot of review copies, you know, because I didn't care if my products got leaked out. And I really still don't care if my products get leaked out. But at the same time, um, then I was just trying to build a reputation. I've gotten good enough reputation now that uh, I actually wouldn't even mind um, releasing WSOs without any reviews at all on them. And I don't have a problem at all giving review copies to my affiliates, but that's not what I'm saying. If an affiliate asks me, I'm definitely going to give them one. But I just don't send them out readily anymore, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I just have a little video here. It's kind of stupid, but it's short. And in your video... Uh, and I don't remember what this video says, so I may be, I may have done this completely wrong in this video. <laughs> but so I'm speaking from experience here. If I didn't, uh, I don't, I don't remember what's on this video. Like I said, this this WSO is like December or something, I think. But uh, you want to tell the the affiliates what's in it for them, and so that's why I kind of act crazy in these videos. Is I want them to keep paying attention and watching, but try to tell them what's in it for them, uh, how, how much the commissions are going to be, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I nearly always do 100% commissions. If I'm doing a software or a plugin, then it might not be 100%, simply because uh, you got to pay your tech guys to support it, uh, and and usually it's it's acceptable to not do 100% on software. But anytime it's a video course or an info product, then I normally will do 100%, and then 50% on the back. And so I always tell affiliates, hey, here's here's that, here's what you're getting, here's why you should promote it. Uh, sometimes I'll tell them. Uh, this about the success of my future or my past launches launches or I'll show them some testimonials from my past customers etc cetera, etc cetera. just depends on the hook that I'm trying to to get across to them and you can see in this one the the, the affiliate contest is really really uh, low like this is nothing hundred dollars fifty dollars twenty five dollars and and it's simply because we're doing a hundred percent this was just a little extra incentive you know, we we did the 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 uh, minimums really low. You know, 30 sales, 20 sales, 10 sales, not too hard. And and if they make 10 sales, this was like a $10 product. So they made 10 sales, they're going to get $100 on the front end, anyways. Not to you know mention what they're going to make on the back end. So it was just uh, a little extra incentive. But if I was doing a software and I wasn't paying 100%, like I was doing 50 or 60% or something like that, and I was doing a software. And I know that we're going to be making more money on the launch because we're not giving away all the commission. Then I would do a bigger uh, JV contest. But uh, really, affiliates are, are 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 more worried about making sure that it's a good product and that they're going to make money. If your product converts and it makes them money, then they're going to keep promoting it. Now, obviously, if you have the budget or you have a partner who has a budget or you can work it out with your uh, product so that you can can give away a lot of cash or other prizes as a 
contest, do it. I highly recommend you give away as much as you can. In fact, even, even go in the hole if you have to. And in fact, a lot of times I do go, uh, you know, in the hole or break even or barely make too much of a profit on most of my WSOs because we give all the commission away to the affiliates, which is fine. I, I, it's as long as I build up a, you know, a buyer's list. But uh, another trick, too, to get them to join your list is tell them that, like, set this to 75% or 50% and tell them if they opt in that you'll give them a secret code and they get to bump their commission to 100%. That's another technique that you can use. I use that sometimes as well. It works really well. If you don't have a list at all, I recommend that that's what you do if you don't have an affiliate list at all. Um, I have a small affiliate list, so I don't make them join unless they want to join now. But if, uh, if I was to start over, I would definitely, definitely do a bump code and make them opt in for the bump code. Uh, but as it is, I don't make them opt in to get anything. Uh, and you put your affiliate links. So this is where they get their affiliate links. I got it here. Make sure that you, uh, you know, in this case, I was, I was using JVZoo. Whenever we release this WSO, JVZoo, and I misspelled it, should say JV and say JZ. <laughs> when we released this WSO, JVZoo is kind of new. Uh, so I had an, a link here so they could get their account. And this product actually got JBZoo product of the day. And I have a link for the sales page for them as well, so they can go and look at it before and decide if they want to promote it. So you can see here's the sales page. And we got JBZoo uh, top pick of the day whenever uh, for that day. And... So uh, that's, I don't really do too much more than that on my JV page. This is really not a very good example of a JV page, but it works for me. It does get people to promote my products and get some on my list. But more, more importantly, uh, that, you know, it just kind of lets my personality and my style come across. You know, I, I'm real straightforward and I'm not real flashy and uh, my, that's the way my products are too. You know, you're not going to find a lot of fancy graphics usually in my products or, you know, ebooks with a lot of, that are real fancy, uh, but the content's normally good. So. That's kind of the way I like to do it, and that's that's worked for me. Uh, you know, if you want to do the graphics and stuff, go for it. And I wish I had some other uh, examples of, of JV pages to show you, but I don't have any off the top of my head. So uh, I'm going to look back at the questions make sure that uh, everything is on. Uh, okay, cool, cool, good. All right. Let's go back. We got you. Okay, so you've got your product created. You've got your JV page. Again, I'll inform on your JV page. You know, you've got information about the product on the JV page. You've got information about getting a review copy. You know, uh, uh, let them view the link to view the sales page. You know, or or the mock sales page, uh, if possible. Which uh, do a JV contest, and here's the thing too: if you're not doing, if you don't have, you know, the budget to do a big JV contest, as you can see, the JV contest I did, we spent like $200 on prizes. It wasn't big, but it's just a little extra incentive. But you can also do uh, prizes. Like it doesn't have to be cash. You can do prizes. It can be some kind of goofy prize. You know, I've seen people give away bobblehead dolls. I've seen people give away uh, sex toys. <laughs> Uh, et cetera, et cetera. The sex toy was like a 10th place thing, so it was supposed to be a shame gift. But uh, they did that on a couple launches, and uh, that was kind of uh, interesting. I seen one guy giving away branded coffee. You know, so you, didn't, you don't have to give away cash, just anything that you think the, they might lock. You don't have to give them anything at all, but if you can, uh, it, it doesn't hurt anything. And also, if if you if you have it available, give them any promotional material that you that you have. Such as banners, uh, email swaps, uh, videos, you know, PDFs they can give away. Okay, so you've got all that, you got your JV page listed. Now Kobe, how do I get traffic to my JV page so that I can get people to sign up on my affiliate list? All right, all right. All right, there's lots of places you can do this. And I'm going to start off with the places that are most easily accessible. 
And right now, one of the most popular places is a, is called MunchEye.com. This is a website, uh, Chris Munch, that has all the launches where you can list your launch and uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'll put the link in there for y'all. We'll go to that and show you. You can see it's got the launches listed, the dates, the people involved, and you can click on to get more information. So you see it's a pretty good list already. And that's uh, owned by Chris Munch. Uh, another one is JV Nova. JV, yeah. Warrior. This one's owned by Kinster. Warrior. JV.com. Go. It's the same same setup here. You can see they got the listed over here. So there you go. You can go in there and you can pick. It also helps too if you're getting ready to launch a date and you're trying to figure out like your competition. You can come in here and look before you get ready to pick a date. It helps as well. Uh, another one is forum special offers dot com slash calendar dot php I think it may just be slash calendar let's see no nope. slash php yeah there it is from special offers slash calendar slash php obviously this one is only for uh, FSOs put that in there for you which are FSOs are uh, the this forum's equivalent of a WSO Let's put that on our deal over here. There's also JV Notify Pro, which is mostly for ClickBank. That one, uh, they charge a membership. It's like $37 or something. And I've been a member there for a long time, but I canceled it the other day. And then I wanted to use it. I was watching a video a little bit later, and I was wondering why. Then I was wanting to use it. So I'll probably be... Uh, I didn't use it uh, for several months because I was traveling, and that's why I canceled it. And so I'll probably be uh, redoing that again soon because I know I'll need to use it. Although I will hold off for as long as I can because I'm a cheapskate sometimes. Um, there's another one. Dr. Ben has one too, and I can't think of it at the moment. Uh, Art asked if I always give a review copy to everything. I don't. I don't. Uh, and it depends. Uh, in the beginning, I used to, yes. And that was because I wanted to, to get, you know, I just wanted to get my products in the meanest hands of as many people as possible. Uh, these days, I don't give out as many, as many review copies um, simply because I don't need to. <laughs> and if it's, uh, if it's like a really nice piece of software or something, or really expensive one, I probably wouldn't give out a uh, review copy like to the whole affiliate list, maybe just like certain affiliates or those that requested one. Uh, so, no, I don't always give out a review copy, but if, if an affiliate asks for one, I'm going to give them one, unless it's just, you know, an extreme circumstance where I just think they're just not going to promote it, or they just want it for something free. Most, 99% of the time, if an affiliate asks me for one, I'm going to give them one, no questions asked. And especially if they promote something from in the past, then definitely they'll get one. Um, another one is... I can't think of Dr. Ben's at the moment, I'll, uh, but he has a launch calendar as well, and I can't think of it. This is one I found out about the other day as well. Uh, it was uh, WSOJVWith.us, I think. It's owned by a guy named Simon. Let me double check, make sure. Yep, so WSOJV Network. You can post your same thing there. And there's many more, uh, you know, that, but that'll get you started. And those are all the ones that I would hit up. Actually, if I, I wouldn't go to JV Notify Pro because I'd probably be doing a WSO. So I'd probably leave JV Notify Pro off the list, even though I have seen some WSOs listed on there. That's only because it's a, uh, I don't think that, that a lot of people that go there are the top of um, – what, what, let me take that back. 
since JV Notify Pro is mostly ClickBank related products, I don't think that too many of the affiliates that go there are going to be interested in promoting WSOs because a lot of the ClickBank guys um, kind of look down on WSOs because they don't make very much money on them. You know, they promote a WSO and they make $10 where they promote a ClickBank product. You know, the average ClickBank product is $27, $37, $47, so they don't promote too many WSOs. There are a few that, that do both, but for the most part. So I wouldn't really waste too much time at JV Notify Pro unless I just was feeling froggy. But I would definitely list it at munchawarriorjv.com and then this last one, JV, WSO JV with .us. And then uh, I would find out what Dr. Ben Atkins' launch calendar is, and I would uh, go and launch on it uh, yeah, too. But I forgot the link because, like I said, I haven't. Y'all know I haven't done WSO since December because I've been traveling and being lazy. <laughs> so now that you have it listed on all these sites, you can also look into paying for premium listings to get even more traffic. But you listen on those sites. Now the next thing that you want to do is start utilizing private groups and by this I mean Skype and Facebook. Now as far as Skype goes, if you're not in any of these, you know, you just have to ask people. And if uh, you have to ask people about but there's several there's several J V you know J V rooms on Skype that are that are purely for posting product launches. And typically most of them will let you post one or two times a day. Whenever I'm getting ready to do a launch, I'll typically start posting about two weeks before the launch and I'll post every day or every you know, maybe not every day. I try to post every day. Sometimes you just forget or whatever. Uh, I try to post every day. So fourteen times I guess. Once a day, sometimes twice a day in and, and you know two or three of the rooms that I'm in. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm in too much more me than that. I may be in up to. I'm in a lot of uh, Skype rooms, but I'm not sure how many of them are only for JVs. So uh, I'm about to post that in the applicable room, app, the rooms that you know make sense to post it in. And uh, and then if any Facebook groups that you're in. I'm not in too many Facebook groups. Uh, I was in two or three. Uh, but then I keep getting banned on Facebook because they think my name is fake or something. I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, mostly I've heard the story. So I don't really, uh, I'm not in any Facebook groups anymore. I don't even have a Facebook account anymore. So uh, I don't do that anymore. But if I, if I was in the Facebook groups still, I would obviously post them on there. And, and Facebook groups the same way with Skype groups. You just kind of have to get in when you can. And once you get in one, you just ask around and they'll move you to, to more and more and more. So uh, that's that's really about all I do. Uh, as far as it comes to recruiting affiliates, is those three things. I put up a JV page, I post it on the launch calendar groups, and I post it in the scout groups. That's about it. I don't go and try to pull any favors and try to be slick with people and, and tell them, hey, mail for me, I'll mail for you, or, or nothing like that. I don't do anything um, tricky. I don't do anything, you know, I, that's it. I just do what I showed you. Now, there is one ninja trick that you can use. Uh, and uh, there is, Art just mentioned that JVZoo has has a face, their own Facebook page. Um, I got lost. Sorry. <laughs> Another thing that you can do, no matter what, what niche you're in. Oh, sorry, I'm stretching. <clears throat> no matter what niche you're in, is you can kind of uh, still. And a good term, you can know, how about, let's not want to say steal, but let's say soften other people's affiliates. First of all, once you get an affiliate list, you can uh, make deals with other people to send emails to their affiliate list. Or maybe do an affiliate list ad swap kind of, type of thing where you would mail your affiliates about their product and they would do the same in hopes that you would both gain new affiliates. But uh, this is a ninja technique, and this is above your head, uh, or this is, sounds confusing. Just let it be, and don't even worry about it for now. Someday it'll make sense, and when it does make sense, uh, when you're ready to use it, then you'll, it'll make sense. But uh, it's called. You can soften other people's affiliates using PPV, which is pay-per-view. This is something that I've been experimenting with lately. 
or for the last few months, as some of you all know, you've heard me talk about it occasionally. Still not comfortable enough to talk about it to think that I'm an expert on it yet, but uh, <laughs> comfortable enough I can give you all this little trick. And with PPV, you're going to go to, to sites like directcpv.com and uh, leadimpact.com. Those are the two that are, are good for a lot of beginners. There's several other ones out there, but I would suggest starting with those two before you start with any other ones, simply because they have uh, they have plenty of traffic and they also have the lowest starting requirements. Uh, Direct CPV has a hundred dollar deposit. Lead Impact has a two hundred dollar deposit. Where some other networks like Traffic 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 Vance has a thousand dollar deposit, and you have to have a referral. But anyways, you go to one of these sites and you sign up uh, to use their service. And pay per view basically means you're going to pay like you know, two two cents or less per view of your page. So what you do is you go and you target URLs. You're going to use that as your means of bidding. So what you do is you go and you find products that are similar to yours and find their JV page. So you would go to all these sites that I mentioned up here, go to these, and just browse around, look at the other launches that are happening, and then what you're going to do is when you get to their, uh, like let's go to one of them, let's go to, uh, let me go back over here and pick one, let's go to, let's go to munchai.com. And let's say that we want to promote Brad Goss's drip blogs, which happened to launch today. It says affiliate network, other niche general. I'm not really sure where. Well, that's kind of weird. It's not what I was expecting. Let me try this again. Let's try this over here on the premium launches. Let me try one that hasn't launched. Let's go to. Uh, this is one that I'll be promoting. Airveen's AF Magic plugin. So you can see he's got that list right here. That was what it was. Just Brad didn't have his JV page listed. Right here it says JV page. AFMagic.com forward slash JV. I'll go to that. And so what you do. You should go to this page and you save this link up here, you copy it, open up a notepad, paste it in. Okay? And so we save that link. And then you go back and you just continue this with all the other products that are the same as yours. And now what you would do is you would go over to Direct CPV and we would take this link and all of our other links and we would bid on them. And so what happens is, remember how I was talking, uh, or before we started the recording, I was talking about adware, uh, getting it off my computer. Well, what happens is, uh, people install this adware knowingly. Now it's not a, a a bad thing. It's it's a knowingly. They knowingly install, you know, premium software uh, in exchange for previewing occasional ads, or viewing, not previewing. And so what will happen is we get this whole list of all these URLs, right? Let's say that we have 20 or 20 or 30 on here. That would be more than plenty. So we get 20 or 30 uh, of these JV pages on here. And we go to Direct CPV and we start a campaign and we target just those URLs. And so what happens is any time that someone, that, uh, someone visits, visits one of those affiliate JV pages that has this software, Anyone that visits and has the adware soft uh, installed will get a pop-up. And so this on your pop-up is where you put your little, you know, your squeeze page. Uh, like this one I had over here, you put this. Or maybe you put a splash page with, you know, it says, uh, want to earn 100% commissions, click here to learn how, you know, or something like that, just in, any way you want. But the... The key is you is that you're popping up your ad on top of the other JV pages, and so when they visit that JV page, they see your JV page or your splash page that leads to your JV page. And so, think about that for a minute. Let's just let that sink in. You have all these affiliates visiting these JV pages who are actively wanting to promote this product or any product. You know, so they're they're legitimate affiliates, 
and then they get a pop-up saying, hey, here's another product that pays really good commission. Have you seen it? Check it out here. Then they click on it, and then they go, and then they see your JV page. How many people do you think uh, are going to sign up for your list? Just, I mean, how powerful is that? It's pretty powerful. <laughs> how fast can you build an affiliate list doing it that way? Okay, and uh, that's just, um, that's the best ninja technique I have for getting affiliates is the doing the PPV, and that's because that's, uh, you know, I, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, passive affiliate recruitment. Uh, I'm not a big guy, a fan of getting up in people's faces and, and sending them personal messages and sending them emails and saying, hey, we promote my product. Hey, do we do this? Hey, scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. That's not the way I do it. That's not the way I roll. I just try to get the best quality product that I can possible and get the highest converting uh, sales copy and sales page graphics that I can and sales funnel that I can so that I can make the affiliates the most money as possible so that they'll send me as, uh, as much traffic as they can. That's my goal and I don't, I'll, very rarely will I personally ask somebody to promote something for me and that's just the way I do it. If uh, you're completely, completely new and there's no way that you could ever you know create a product or, or, or I'm sorry that you could create a product and then go through all this recruiting I suggest that you take a product that's 100% done and partner with somebody that has experience that can do the JV recruitment for you and give them give share the leads with them so you share a list you both get the, the opt-ins and then give them half the money or give them all the money you know whatever it takes to build your list you'll be doing two things when you do it that way you'll build a list of buyers and you'll build a list of affiliates so that's probably the, the best technique, but uh, not everyone has that available. You know, I didn't have that option available to me, and so you just got to work with what you got. And in the future, I'll be using this PPV method more and more to build my affiliate list uh, and in addition to doing the stuff that I you know, already showed you. Basically, more or less kind of um, you know, spamming the JV rooms, and I mean that in a good sense. I'm posing my – that's all everyone, anyone's doing. It's just posting the details of their launch, so doing that daily making sure that I have uh, my profile filled out on all these sites correctly with my launch details and you know just putting it out there so that people can see it. I'm going to look over at the questions. All right, all right. Uh, Troy, that's a, Troy asked a good question. Troy said, if you put a pop-up on someone else's JV page, will they get pissed and maybe not want to JV with you in the future? First of all, um, it's highly unlikely they'll ever know but unless they happen to have the adware, the, soft, the software installed on their computer too that has the adware in it or whatever. Uh, so it's highly unlikely that they will actually see it. But in return, um, I don't know why they would get pissed. That's just part of the game. It's not like you're, you know, you're not doing anything black hat. You're not doing anything illegal. You're not doing any, I mean, it's completely legit what you're doing. Um, if they do get pissed and they say something to you about it, then um, if, if, I, if someone says something to me about it, I'd be like, hey, I'm sorry, you know, uh, I'll, I'll take it off your, you know, I won't target your JV page. I'm, I apologize for that. And because, uh, you know, I'm not doing it. Someone else could be doing it. So, <laughs> if I ever if I ever come to that bridge, I'll, I'll cross that bridge and I'll come to it. I guess I should say. So, if someone ever does say, "Hey, Kobe, why are you doing this to my JV page?" I'd notice that, you know, or someone said that blah blah blah. I would tell them exactly what I was doing. I'd be 100% transparent with them, and then I would uh, tell uh, I would stop if they wanted me to. So, you know, there's no reason to to uh, to feel like you're, you know, that's why I, would, I didn't want to use the word stealing because you're not doing anything unethical. You're doing it's completely legitimate, you know, you're, you're, it's 100% legal, it's, it's not black hat, it's 100% white hat, you know, I'm not going to teach y'all something that's, that's not uh, kosher, so. And Troy said, thanks for clearing that, you're very welcome, and art is correct, I missed something, let me go back to the top, make sure I didn't miss any questions. Um, Vic, I didn't. Vic asked me if I got an email he sent about a list building product. Uh, Vic, I don't remember getting it. Um, in the past, my email was pretty unorganized. Uh, the best way, I've got my email organized now because I've got it set up with uh, Google Apps. But still the best way, 
so that I don't lose it is to put in something at the help desk. If it's uh, as far as a product for me to promote or something like that. Uh, da, da, da. Making sure I didn't skip anything. Sam had asked this earlier, and so uh, before we before I answer this question, we make sure that are we all clear? Is there any more questions on uh, recruiting affiliates or um, you know so, some of these little? Because I know I, I made it seem really simple, and that's because and the truth of the matter is it really is simple, and I don't want you to think that it's it's hard to get to get affiliates because it's really not. And this is exactly what I do. Uh, obviously, I'm not the best at gaining affiliates. I don't have a huge affiliate list, but uh, I gain enough affiliates that whenever I launch a product, if I email my affiliates about it and stuff, that we, we do okay. So um, if there's any more questions regarding those, I'll answer those before I answer this other question that Sam had had that's a little bit off topic. Oh, Vic said that I was asking, he was asking to recommend a uh, choice set, I'm sorry, let me, uh, uh, Vic, you can send me another email about that. I'll, uh, I'll get you fixed up. Or to get the help desk. There's not, it's info at kobeyrout.com. You might have sent it while I was traveling, and I missed a lot of emails over the last several months. That's why I had the, uh, uh, because I, I thought somebody was checking them for me, but they were checking the wrong address. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Troy asked, "How do you ask? How do you ask around on Scop to find JV rooms?" Uh, you do exactly that. Just any room that you're on on Scop, or anybody that you know on Scop, just ask them. Hey, are you a part of any JV rooms or any internet marketing rooms that uh, you could add me to? And of course, um, I have you on. If uh, if I have you in Scop, then. I can add you to the to some as well. The ones that I have uh, permission to add you to, obviously, some of those, some of them are private. And some of them they have weird restrictions, but I know at least one or two I can I can add you into for sure. Cool. So uh, one more round. If there's any questions regarding affiliates or I think I saw. Oh, here it was. I'm sorry. Art asked, Have you ever had someone add your pop up to their page so that everyone sees it? So that uh, no one was no CV no CPV needed. Um, no, I guess I would have to uh, hack hack my thought to do that art. I guess is that. Um, so I've never had anybody do that that I know of. Although I do know that there is somebody that targets my help desk uh, because we had we've had a popped up on we've had a pop up on Cone's computer. So I do have friends that, and I'm pretty sure I know who it is. I just haven't asked them about it yet. So, uh, so uh, I have had people pop up or uh, target some of my slots using uh, PPV. Let's see. Uh, Oh um, no! You know that's a good that's a good uh, question though. Or I've never thought about that, but that that would be something that you could ask somebody. That that's a great that's a great strategy actually, and some people might actually go for that. Uh, Art is asking about if if I've ever uh, added an exit pop to my own page for a fee or you know for free to help somebody out, and I, I haven't. And I actually I'd never thought about that. That's a great question, Art, and you could probably. You could probably uh, cut a deal. Let me let me let me lay this out first, because that is something that that some people do. Is they will uh, with uh, as they will buy exit pop traffic to build their list. So the you know as far as a regular list, I don't know why that wouldn't work for an affiliate list. Uh, what I would do, but what he's talking about is is and let me lay it out. I'm getting a you got me excited, Art. <laughs> Is you contact, uh, or just any page that you come across that you happen to like, you know, uh, contact someone with the JV page that you like, and, and is related, obviously, and just ask them if uh, if you can pay them to put an exit pop or a link 
uh, basically to ask them to put an exit pop to your JV page or even add a link at the bottom which would be another idea you could have like they could, you could uh you could uh what I, in fact what I would do is I would uh, instead of trying to pay them obviously sometimes you only you, uh, money is the only option because you know maybe you don't have the traffic to give them in return but another thing that you could say is let's swap exit pops and so that you, there's one on you have theirs on yours and yours is on theirs that sounds really confusing but basically when they when someone leaves your JV page they get a message saying hey here's another cool launch you can promote and then whenever they leave their page they get a message saying here hey here's another cool launch you can promote that goes to your page so, or uh, you know a link at the bottom that says you know uh, here's another here is another launch you might want to promote and uh, the cool thing about that is if you're using something uh, you can use that to your advantage. If you're using a, why don't I, why don't I put a two sound there? <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Anyways, if you're using a network that has, uh, that allows second tier, like DigiNet, Digi Results does, and so does so does JVZoo. Uh, both of those allow you. Well, I'll take it back. JVZoo doesn't have one exactly the same. Um, Digi results they allow you to pay a second tier commission. So what happens is if you can give out, let me back up. You can hire a uh, like a broker, a launch broker, and give them a percentage. And so they have their own affiliate link. And so anyone that comes to that affiliate link that they promote they get X amount of their sales. So you give them like 10% or 15 or whatever you wanted to. And so you could give that guy that, you know, has this other launch, you could give them that link and so that anyone that joins from that link from their page or from the exit pop, they get a percent of their sales. Then they'd be much more likely to do that. And uh, so that's something to consider. And uh, that's a good idea, Art. That was a good idea. All right, so that, that brings the affiliate stuff out of the way. And, of course, if you all come up with any more questions, put those in. I'm going to go back to the question that Sam had earlier. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? And it's similar. It's related, but uh, it wasn't completely related about getting affiliates, so that's why I saved it for the last. And Sam asked, do you have a solo ads Rolodex of recommended sellers, etc.? I don't have one, like, physically on paper. Uh, I guess I kind of have one in my head, uh, but there's a there's a handful that that I keep. And Monday, we talked a lot about solo ads and and ad swaps. Let me go actually just run over to YouTube and grab that link for y'all. And uh, I talked a lot about Let me sign in here. Sorry. Uh, I've talked a lot about uh, using solo ads and ad swaps to to break even on your funnel. I talked about a lot of where to get them and and more importantly, uh, where I get them at, which is mostly nine percent of the time I buy them at about ninety five percent of the time I buy them through safe swaps. So there's a link to that. Just put it in the chat box and I'll put it here too. Wow, that's a big link. Sorry, that link was so ugly. There's a there's the smaller link. So basically, like if I go to Safe Swaps, I go there now, and between Safe Swaps and there's one more site I'll show you. And the link for Safe Swaps is let me put that in here www.discount, I'm sorry, http discount 
dot safe hopping swaps dot com slash Kobe Rat. And that is an affiliate link. If you don't want to use my affiliate link, then just take off the uh, the, the just make go to save happenswaps dot com. It's obviously optional. So we're here. Let me log in. All right, I'm logged in. Uh, you can see the cool thing about uh, safe swaps they keep track of everything for you so you can see I'm gonna show you all that these are all the solo ads that I bought to go out next week they're starting next week starting Monday I bought one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so I've got solo ads going all the way up to the 14th so far that I bought and paid for and these are all smaller ones most of these people I've used, well, I'd say about half these people I've used before. Mm, maybe more like 60%. Good chunk of these I've used them before, or I know of them, so I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with all my with all my purchases, and pretty satisfied that I'll get you know good results. And another key too is always, always, always. Uh, I can't stress this enough. When you're when you're do, purchasing solo ads, please, please, please. I don't care who you bomb from me. If you bomb from me, always start small. Don't jump out there and buy a thousand click package or a five hundred click package from somebody first time you purchase with them. No. No 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 no. Please. Please do not do that. It's the biggest mistake I see people making and it it frustrates me so bad because uh, you know, I can't do anything about that and I, I hate people seeing people get ripped off. Sometimes I've even told people, hey, don't, I don't think you should buy that. And they, they buy it anyways, and they get ripped off. So that makes me even matter. <laughs> but uh, the key is, you know, purchase small amounts and, and then work your way up. There's people that I've bought solo ads from three or four or five times and still have never bought more than 100 clicks from them. Because you really you don't need to buy too much more than that. And there's no reason to stretch your budget out. Uh, you can see, like, I have all these here. I don't know how much I spend on these, but I'm going to get a... a calculator and figure it out I know that isn't I guess I should I'm getting sidetracked let me uh, answer your question so here's the ones I bought this month or I've bought so far this month and if I go back uh, you can say go through this month where I was, months where I was traveling uh, we can go back to our start uh, March and stuff you can, say, you can see it keeps track of all my past ones so I can come back and look and I can see the results that I had, you know, I can see like here I bought 100, I got a, 177, bought 100 here, I got 330, you know, Angelus. If you'll notice, this is one that I just bought uh, from again. So that's this will be like the fourth one I think I bought from him. Uh, and the cool thing, another good thing is when you're searching for solos, uh, you go over to search, let's go to the small ones, is they will tell you and there's none on this first page that are showing. It'll tell you if uh, you've purchased a solo app from them before and what rating you gave them. I have to find somebody that I bought. Wow, they, that's, this, this, uh, this updates every day, so the ratings are changing every day. This, the, the way that they're ranked here is based on the way that you're rated. When we looked at it on Monday, like the whole first page is people that I'd use it for. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Well. Anyways, it'll tell me underneath underneath people that I bought before before the rating that I gave them and when I last bought from them. So I'm not seeing any. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, these are just I haven't bought me these people. So I'll have, I guess I'll have some searching I can, or some uh, research I can do as soon as the web the webinar is over and, and buy some more solos. But here's what I do when I'm, I'm deciding on buying a solo. Let's go to 300 plus. Is uh, actually let's start. I start the I always start at the smallest ones first. So I will start at the under 100. The first thing I'll do is I will start at the price. 
First of all, I'm not going to pay more than 40 cents. 40 cents is like my buffer. Uh, and getting me to pay 40 cents a click is, is pretty rough. There's people out there that are charging more than that, but I'm not going to pay it. Like this guy right here, he's charging 60 cents a click. I'll, I would never, I would never buy that. I'm, I'm sorry. That just, that's too much for me, and I just, I'm not going to do it. So I'll go through here, and I've, I've done an ad with Stephen before, so I know that he has good traffic. Same thing with, with Nathurn. Uh, I've bought them from him, I believe, before. I know he's bought so ads from me, but uh, let's say that I'm going to do one with Stephen. I would click on, and I didn't know that his history. I would click on his name. And then I click over here where it says solo seller, and then I'm going to look at all the stuff that other people are saying. Now, he's got 20 uh, positive ratings and zero negative ratings, so he's at 100%. And then I'm going to and I go and look, uh, and this guy bought 100 clicks. He got 168, and he said, good job, thank you. Uh, this one said, good solo, thanks. They got 171. They bought 100, So, uh, which I already knew that Stephen was a good guy anyways, but if I didn't know that he was a good guy, this is, would definitely be one that I would be purchasing. So then all you would do is I just click buy solo ad, choose your date. In this case, I would it would be what the 15th I think is the next date that we have because I like to do one a day. And then I would set for 6 a.m. Eastern. That's the time that I always like to choose. And then the uh, swap that I always use on solo ads is this one right here. I'll show y'all uh, the email swap. The subject says new today's gift list putting video. And then the swap just says, I have a treat for you today, and there's my link. This video will teach you how to easily add 100 to 300 people to your list this weekend. There's a link. Don't miss out. This could be your chance to finally start building a huge and profitable list. And then there's a link again. So this would be, uh, Stephen, yeah, that would be a great a great purchase at $0.30. Cents. In fact, uh, I'm going to go ahead and and book that for the September the 15th. Was that the right? Let me go back and double check on my solos. Let's see. So I'll show you just how it works. Yeah, the 15th. Let's go back to his click. Choose the right time and the right swap and the right date. Make it the 15th. And then 100 clicks is good for me. $30. Perfect. And then you hit commit to buy. And it's that simple. If he accepts it, I'll get a message telling me that I need to pay him. And then I'll go pay him. He'll queue it up and we'll be ready to go. And you can see it. We go back to my solo ads page. It added him next to the line with a little clock saying that it's waiting for him to request it. And so uh, I'm going to show you all, though. So that's all I do. I go and look at their feedback. I look at their ad swaps. I look at their solo ads that they've sold. Look at the amount of clicks that they've got, gotten and go from there. And obviously, if I've used them in the past then they're, and I had good results, then I'm going to use them again. Uh, so let's add up the clicks. And uh, about what I, I think I've got 740 clicks is what I added, and then we just added in Stevens, which would be 840. So out of 840 clicks, um, they're all going to over deliver uh, by a little bit. Some are going to over deliver by a lot. So I'm going to get at least 850 clicks. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get at least, or I purchased 840 clicks. And most of them are going to over over deliver by 10%. So multiply that by 1.1. Oops, clear that. 1.1. So say 924 clicks. I'm gonna get about 900 clicks. So uh, pretty sure that they'll give me at least 400 subscribers. And let's let's multiply that by 0.4. 369 subscribers. So if my squeeze page converts at 40%. Uh, which it actually converts a little bit higher than that, I'll get 369.6 subscribers. So we'll say that I get 350 subscribers. And let's go back and look about how much it would cost me. And I'm going to guesstimate on the process here, just to simply save us some time, because I don't remember all of them. I just kind of about what I paid. Uh, it was like $29 for Mark Jameson. I bought 50 clicks from Mark Lee. That was like... Uh, Fifteen dollars. Angelus was thirty-two dollars for hundred clicks. Jay's was thirty dollars, I believe. Could have been thirty-three. Tom Geo, I think, was uh, twenty-eight dollars for hundred clicks. Chris Ronson, I bought fifty clicks. His was like uh, nine dollars, I believe, or maybe it was ten dollars. 
uh, from Dan about 40 clicks. That one was a non-dollar one. Uh, Manny about 50 clicks, and I think that was around 10 dollars also. Or no, I'm sorry, that was around 15 dollars also. Uh, 50 clicks from York, I think that was like 11 bucks. Jason Bennett. 50 clicks, that was 9 bucks, I think. Trey Eggins, 5 clicks, or 20 clicks was 5 bucks. Robert Epling was $9 for 30 clicks, I think. Somewhere in that range. And then it was $30 for Steven. So $232, uh, approximately what I'm spending. So we'll round that up to $240. So, and say that I'm going to get 350 subscribers. That'll buy $240. That's backwards. Two hundred fourteen dollars divided by three hundred fifty subscribers. Sixty-eight cents, sixty-nine cents. I rounded up. Sixty-nine cents a subscriber. That is dirt cheap. Sixty-nine cents a subscriber is what my uh, guesstimated acquisition acquisition fee is going to be uh, for the next two weeks or thirteen days here. I expect to get over th uh, three hundred fifty, at least three hundred fifty subscribers. At at least 68 cents a piece. So if I get more than 350 subscribers, then uh, just be a bonus. But the cool thing is, the so the page that I promote that I send all my solo ads to is this one, freelistbuildingtrainingvideo.com, and I go over this in the last week's training. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But this solo this uh, funnel is a break-even funnel for me. So I'm actually going to more than likely make my $240 investment back and a lot of times I'll end up making a profit so and but any of that that I make goes right back into buying more solo ads and buying more traffic um, and I went through I, I dissected this funnel on Monday's training so check that out on, on the, the YouTube link that I gave y'all so we're at, we're at our hour I'm gonna go ahead and look at any of the questions that have come in while I was sitting there blabbing and see uh, Yes, yes. Art asked a great question. Great question. I always forget to to cover that. Art, that is a very, very good question. Yes, sir. Uh, Art asked, uh, if you buy 100 clicks uh, and you get 110, are the, are the extra clicks free? Absolutely. Absolutely. Any extra clicks that you purchase are free. And nearly always, the solo sellers will nearly always, um, nearly always over deliver. Any good solo seller is going to over-deliver by at least 5%. Um, these days, 10% is the norm, 20%. You know, I've had guys over-deliver um, 100% or more. And so I really wouldn't be surprised if I end up getting 1,000 clicks. In fact, I, I'm, to be completely, you know, to be a little optimistic, I expect to get 1,000 clicks. But, you know, being realistic, I'm going to at least get, uh, you know, 900 clicks. And I bought 840, so I'm going to at least get 840. But I would not be surprised at all if I end up getting over 1,000 clicks and over 400 subscribers and even making money out of the whole deal. Uh, Drew asked a good question. Drew asked, how do I become an affiliate for you, Kobe? And you can go to kobe.com slash affiliates. However, all of my new products, at least the last three that I've listed, have been listed at DigiResults. And you can just go to uh, any of those products. At the bottom, there's an affiliates link. I'll give you one. Let me think of a uh, blog flipping ninja slash affiliates. And that will get you signed up for the JVZoo, or not JVZoo, sorry, the Digi results. I believe. Let me double check. Yeah. You can see it's uh, pretty straightforward <laughs> right there. <laughs> uh, let me go back. Let me go back. Sorry, I got. Uh, I missed a few questions here. Uh, David asked Kobe, "I wonder if there are any give, uh, if there if there are giveaway events for products not related to the IM niche in order to build my list." Uh, actually, David, there are. Um, I've seen them in the uh, the weight loss niche. 
I've seen them in the weight, uh, the weight loss, health, fitness, whatever you want to call it. I've seen them in uh, in those, and I've also seen them in the self help, you know, self improvement, whatever you want to call it, uh, and, uh, niche. Just uh, look around, really, Google them. That's the best way you can find them. Uh, whenever I happen to cross them, I have to cross them on accident. Whenever I was googling, you know, looking for just regular IM ones, or just uh, just came across by accident while looking for regular IM ones. So they are out there. They're just not as you know. They're not as they're not as uh, they're not as uh, common. I guess is what the word I'm looking for. Uh, uh, let's see. Jenny asked, "What method do you use to put an exit pop on a site?" Uh, that's a great question. There's plenty of ways, and the, the thing is, these days is they get blocked a lot. And so, if you look on this on this site, uh, I have one, and it's this one, and that's the one I've been using lately. And I was looking at it, and Aweber it actually gets like. I just put this one on the other day, so uh, I'm not going to say the numbers on it because they may be not correct yet, but it's pretty high. Um, on this one, I looked the other day, and it was at 6%. I got the same type of one on, on this page. Whenever they try to leave, and it's getting a 6% opt-in rate. So, I mean, 6% of people are opting in straight to this form versus at this one. And what I use to make that is the software that I sell at Exit popninja.com and it's actually um, a, a, what's called a DHTML so it's supposed to be unblockable whereas you can use the manual ones and uh, I have a script for a manual exit pop like a hard coded script and you can get it for free just by googling um, that I've used on some, in the past, but some but these days, some, a lot of the browsers will block it. So um, that's a you know, <laughs> it's kind of seems it seems like as soon as you find one you like, that they start uh, uh, blocking them. You know, and then there's of course there's ones like Exit Splash and stuff as well. Let's see, uh, Art said blog flipping versus website flipping. Yeah, same same idea. Uh, John said that he's been trying to get a hold of me. Uh, John, looks like we've we've been missing each other on Skype. It may be the easiest to, uh, to put in a, a help desk ticket. But I don't know if I'll I don't know if I'll be back on Skype tonight though, uh, John. And Vic said he hates exit pops. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> but they uh, they're effective. I like the uh, the I like this style better. Seems to be a little less uh, you know, uh, intrusive. I guess the word I'm looking for. So I like this a little bit better because they don't actually like they can stop this. You know, if they if they're going to exit and they just keep on exiting and they hit the exit page, it's not going to stop them from from leaving. That's why I like it. So and, and that and it's effective. So it's it's actually I get a I get a higher conversion on that exit pop than I do with a regular exit pop because normally um, my testing in the past when I'd use an exit pop I get about three percent, three point two, three point four in that range, and now I'm getting uh, like six percent. In fact, I'll just go over to Weber and show you. all Let me log in. And this will be about the last of it. We'll call it quits because we've already went past our hour. As you can see, uh, I'm here at my the one I was just showing you. The exit pop, 6.1%. Uh, that's the uniques, the non-unique, the raw, it's 5.6. So that means I'm getting an extra 6.1% conversion rate, rate 
uh, just by installing that. So I was I couldn't believe that was that high. Whenever I saw that it was that high, I went and installed it on my list building one that I just saw. So that was another way that I was trying to increase the profits on uh, on that funnel because there's already a break-even funnel, and I added the exit pop. That's on the list building funnel. I added the exit pop, which is here, and then uh, let me uh, let me show you all the the download page too. So there's no reason for you all to opt into that. You're already on my list. Let me show you all the download page, so y'all can watch that video if you want because it is a good video. Okay, with autoresponder.magic.net/sneak-peak. Put that in here. There we go. There we go. And uh, what I what I uh, uh, another addition that I made was I put this banner right here, which leads to save swaps. So they purchase that and they they get into that. Hopefully, uh, recurring commissions that will really, really, really just push the the profitability of the funnel over the top. You know, if I just get one person a month uh, into safe swaps, it's like an, you know it's like an extra fifteen dollars something a month. Uh, that that would uh, really add up as far as you know making this a profitable funnel. That's a lot of extra solo ads that I can buy. <laughs> uh, John asked what theme are you using for these. Uh, this is um, no theme. I'm just, uh, this is uh, just pure white uh, images. I'm not sure where I got them. I think I got them in a PLR package or something. Uh, you can feel free to, if you want to steal this template, of course, it probably won't work on this because it's got the, the exit pop code in it. But if you go to the download page, uh, feel free to steal that. Uh, in fact, actually, let me, uh, I know where you can, you can go to, if you go to cobra.com forward slash free video, I think, dot HTML, maybe. Yeah, there you go. This is the one I use for my CPV testing. You can, uh, you can just, you know, I'll put in the link here. Go to this page and right click and feel free to steal the source. Just be sure to point the images uh, just point the images at your server. I'm not sure where they're pointed at now. If they're at mine or if they're pointed at wherever I got it. I don't know. <laughs> if they're pointed at mine though, change them because it'll lead up my bandwidth and your squeeze page might not show up one day. Uh, optimize press. I'm not any good at optimize press. John. Uh, in fact, I'm really, really crappy at, at uh, WordPress altogether. <laughs> uh, on my main blog here, I use um, a Woo themes, the Fresh News theme. But um, beyond that, I can't build a, uh, I can't build a squeeze page <laughs> uh, using WordPress. Uh, I'm not very good. At, I'm not very good at all with WordPress. I can put up my blog post and my videos, and that's about as far as I can get. Although uh, I now I do have a plugin that uh, I'll be coming out with soon that's supposed to create squeeze pages, so that should help. Right. All right. Well, um, that wraps about everything up tonight. I don't know. I don't really have anything to uh, promote to y'all. If y'all want to, uh, since we were talking about it, I guess you could check out the the Exit Pop Ninja. It's still only nine dollars or nine ninety seven. It's going to go up to seventeen dollars and then twenty seven dollars as soon as I get off my lazy butt and finish creating the tutorial videos inside the members area. So you can still grab that for ten bucks if you want to. There it is, ExitPopNinja.com. Here's a sales page. I just showed y'all two demos, so you get a pretty good idea of what it does. You get a download page builder software with it as well as a bonus so it's a pretty good deal uh, it is only a, a PC software so it doesn't work on Mac unless you have parallels or uh, something like that so there's that if you want to pick that up exitpopninja.com or uh, I guess you could also check out the other product I just released recently some of y'all have probably already seen that and that's the log flipping ninja at kobeout.com forward slash blog hyphen flipping hyphen ninja boom that is also uh, seven dollars at the moment so 
Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Oh, I see. I see what John. Yeah, John, I use HTML. I don't use WordPress. I see what you're asking now. Uh, although I have seen some uh, Optimize Press squeeze pages that looked very, very similar to that. So, but I just, you know, I've never got into to Optimize Press, and so I've just never really used it too much. All right. So, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. If you want to pick up those two products, you can check out those links: exitpopninja.com or copyright dot com forward slash blog hyphen flipping hyphen ninja also be sure to jump on the sms list by texting the word webinar to 615-326-1155 that's all i got for you this week this is kobe with kobe dot com signing off